Yo guys, what's up? Skyrim Vaults here, and today we call another takes for camera, of course. Um, it's not this pop-up. This is actually another pop-up I used to show the guy that it was fake, and after I showed it to him, he hung up. You know, usual. Uh, but other than that, it's just a regular call. Nothing really too crazy happens in this video. Uh, but yeah, if you aren't following me on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter right now. It's on the screen. Scammer Vaults. And that. See you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, I got a message on my computer saying to call this number because I have a virus. Okay. Uh, can you give me? Is there any kind of uh, error code or anything like that on the on the screen? Um... Yeah, it does say share the. It shares this. It says share this code. It doesn't say it's okay. an error code, but it tells me to share it. Like what's the code? Uh, B two nine five seven E. Okay, B two nine five seven E, right? Yes. Right. Uh, so don't worry, sir. I'll certainly help you in this. So first of all, so can you give me your first and last name? Yeah, my name is Tommy Jones. Tommy Jones, okay. And can I have your phone number if in case the call got disconnected, I can call you back? Uh, does it matter if it's Homer or uh, Mobile? Sorry? Does it matter if it's Homer or Mobile? No, no, that's okay. You can give me any number. Alright, 601-274. 4727. All right, sir. So thank you very much for the information. So let me go ahead and check this error code, okay? And I'll be judging and know what exactly we need to do. Okay. All right? Just hold All right. on. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm going to be honest. Uh, before this, I was sitting here on hold music for like five minutes. I was expecting them not to pick up. So this guy picked up. I was kind of like, whoop. But we'll see. We will see what happens. Hello, yeah. Uh, Hello. Thanks for staying online. Hello, yeah. Thanks for staying online, sir. I really appreciate your time and patience. Okay. As I check the error code, so can you please tell me uh, on which computer or laptop uh, do you receive this message? Is it a Macintosh or Windows? It's Windows. Okay. So to rectify the problem closely and you to help you out with that, uh, what I have to do now is you know. I have to connect you to our secure Microsoft server uh, so that we can just, you know, uh, fix that problem for you and remove that uh, message from your computer as well as your screen, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, I want you to have a look at your keyboard. At the bottom left side of it, you will see the CDRL key, the control key, correct? Yes. Yes, next to it is the Windows key, the Microsoft logo key. Uh, yes. Yes, you have to press and hold the Microsoft key down with the letter R. R as in Robert. You have to press them together. Okay, press them together. Alright. Yeah. Is there anything popped up? Uh, yes. A, a little box came up. Yeah, yeah. There will be a space for typing. Uh, you have to type in there uh, H as in Henry. Okay. Another H as in Henry. Okay. Then a space. Okay. 
another H as in Henry. All right. So, so together it makes H H space H. Okay. Yes. Now click OK. All right. Okay. So, what do you see now? Uh, it says uh, this web can uh, what does it say? This program cannot display the web page. Okay. Okay. So, uh, at the top. Uh, left top side of the box you will see a yellow question mark you see the yellow question mark yes yes you have to click on the yellow question mark and then many options uh, will come in front of you okay so, uh, uh, you have to click the second last one that is jump to url jump to url all right yeah click on click on that and after that uh, you will see a box where you can type in something. Uh, you have to type in there a technical website. Uh, that is okay. W W W. All right. A dot. Uh, yeah. Fastsupport.com. Fastsupport.com. Yes. So next now click OK. All right. Okay. So, what come up with, it says what come, what's come up in says establish yeah. support connection okay okay perfect perfect so uh, no, you just put in your name there and i will provide you the support key all okay. right okay so a moment i'm just generating a new support key for you okay 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 the support key is seven Three four seven three four. Oh, 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 okay. One oh three. I swear the way he says, Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, can you just uh, please repeat that? What you have just put in that box seven three four zero zero one oh three. Yeah, it's three oh between uh, them there are nine digits over there yeah uh, seven three zero seven three four zero 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 one zero three yeah correct so now click continue please okay okay so uh, what's on your screen now uh it says launching application yeah is there any option for allow or run yes Yes, click allow or run. You okay. Know, uh, you have to click all the positive options as you see on your screen. Uh, okay. Like allow, yes, okay. So that we can just uh, get connected and I just can have a look on the issue. All right. Um, and just remove that message from your screen. It's not, uh, it will not look good in the screen. Okay. Okay. So is it installing something? It says connecting to go to assist, starting go to assist. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, is there any option for uh, start or run? Uh, I do not see that. Is there still any says, for open? Still says starting go to assist. Okay, it will take some time. So, sir, uh, can you tell me uh, what you were doing when you were having this message on your screen? Yeah, I was just checking some some emails. Okay. Okay, that was the uh, worst thing happened when you were just working and some uh, irrelevant message has shown up on your screen. Yeah. Uh, I, really, I, really, I really understand your pain, sir, but don't worry, I'm here. Uh, so... So, uh, is it started, so? Okay, it says installing go to assist now. Okay. Now okay. it's got a thing okay. that says connecting in the bottom corner. Okay, so, uh, yeah, perfect, so perfect. I really appreciate that uh, you have done a really great job here 
and as we are successfully connected, you can see my. How much you guys want to bet? There. His name is Rakesh. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, I'm saying, sir, uh, that you really did a great job there. Uh, we are successfully connected. Do you oh, see okay. my mouse cursor moving over your screen? Yes, I can see that. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, now I'm in and uh, I'm trying my 110% best to fix this problem. Okay? So okay. Please don't worry. And leave the mouse and the keyboard and sit back, relax. And just have a look at your screen, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me help him out a little bit. Boop. There we go. Let's see what he says. <laughs> you. Oh my god. When these guys don't even know how their own pop up works. <laughs> So what exactly is wrong with the computer? Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, we just find out what exactly is wrong. Uh, but I think what I think is, you know, there should be a problem uh, with your uh, network because you were you were just checking your emails on your network, correct? Yeah, yeah, I was. Yes, yes. Because there, you know, there are certain virus and the trolls and any other many things there are on the internet. Which is, uh, which, which uh, you know, creates problem for the computer. So okay. we just, you know, just need something to prevent it from uh, these types of messages because they are not good at all. Because they are, they can be worse. And uh, you know, uh, can you just tell me since how long you have been facing this uh, message? Uh, it's been on my screen for about maybe 20 minutes now. Okay, so, uh, okay, good, uh, okay, so give me a moment, I'm just uh, running a, a diagnose over the computer, so that we can just find out what exactly is the issue, why is this message popped up on your screen, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm running a diagnose over here, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the diagnosis has been started. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we'll find what what is the exact problem with this uh, message. Okay. So, so, can you please tell me uh, how old is this computer? Uh, maybe around three years old. Okay, so do you, did you ever uh, assign the technician over it? Uh, do you, uh, what I want to ask is, you know, uh, do you take a technical help or any changes? Do you make any hardware or software changes in that? Uh, no. Okay, good. So do you have any antivirus on this computer? Um, I don't think so. I think there's like Windows Defender or something. But other than that, I don't know. Okay, so is this your personal computer? Yeah, this is my personal computer. Okay, so... 
it's taking so much of time. Usually, it don't take that much of time. Okay. I think the issue is very critical one. Okay. Uh, why it's taking so much of time? I don't know. Let's see. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, guys, let's hope for the best. <laughs> I wonder what message she typed out. So, uh, sir, how is the weather out there? Uh, it's all right. A little bit cloudy. Yeah, here in Morgantown, it's also a bit cloudy and uh, it's very cold here too okay now it's taking uh, uh -huh, I think okay so just so uh, you ex you have a internet service provider. So can you tell me which is your internet service provider? I have a uh, Spectrum. Okay, Spectrum. So how many devices do you have which is connected on that particular network? Um, maybe like three. Okay, three. So uh, can you tell me uh, which are they? Which are, What do you mean? Uh, I'm saying that uh, what is the kind of the uh, of the devices? I mean, it's a laptop or a computer. Oh, Mac just my or... just my laptop and phone. Okay, okay. Uh, don't you have printers in your home? Uh, yes, I do have one printer. Okay, so okay. Okay, as this diagnosis will be completed. Uh, by the results, we can just, you know, we can just find the problem and we can fix it really soon for that because you're having this message for 20, last 20 minutes and I don't think so it's a good idea to have this kind of message for a long time. So, I, I, so we just, you know, we have to hurry. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. I think the scan has been stopped. Is right there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, sir. The, oh, my God. Do you, do you see that scan results over here? Tibna? Tinba? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's Tinba. Do you have any idea about that, what a Tinba? No. Okay, so uh, as I tell you, sir, there is something uh, bad news I have for you. Tinba is a is a virus that you know that runs on internet and that affects. You no, know, it's it's kind of a hacking hacking virus. So someone is trying to hacking your network. That's why these messages are you are receiving because of okay. this virus over here. 
So, uh, so what I'm going to do is give me a moment. Uh, I'm just getting details about this virus. So, give me a moment here. So uh, this is the detail I found for uh, Chinba from the Wikipedia, and here it is in front of you. You just can't, uh, you just read it by yourself. Uh, it's tiny Winkle Trojan. It's also called Chinba. It's a malware program that targets financial instruction institution websites. It is modified of an older form of virus known as Bankle Trojans, yet it is much smaller in size and more powerful. It works by established man in browsers attack and network sniffing. Since its discovery, it has been found to have infected more than two dozen major banking institution in the U.S., including TD Bank, Chase, HSBC, Wells Fargo. Oh, my God. Do you see that here? Uh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a, it's a wow. security, it's a network security issue. So, so for that, I, I have a level seven technician with me who is, you know, his network specialist and he he will work you know he will assist you further because this is a network issue now okay all right, all right. so i'm just i'm just writing, transferring this call to the level civil technician and you know uh, it's been really necessary to hurry up because it's been 25 to 30 minutes with this uh, messages and i don't think so it's a good idea to have this kind of message for a long time so i'm i'm, I'm just transferring a call right away okay okay as you hear his voice fade away as he's walking away. <laughs> Yes, hello, you there? Yes, hello. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir, for your time and your patience. Well, my colleague has just answered me the call. I'm a senior, take me senior. My name is Jerry. Okay. Yeah, well, all right, your, all right, your network has been compromised. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Simba has detected your network. 
Well, uh, sir, have you ever shared your password with anyone else? Uh, no. No? Uh, all right, okay. Well, sir, how old is your computer? Uh, it's around three years old. Okay. Well, sir, see, I want you to look here uh, on the black screen. All right, sir, this is your local address, all right, sir? This, uh, this is your IP local address. IP stands for Internet Protocol. Yeah, here, this is your local address. Your, your local address is fine. Here, this is a foreign address. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the, these are the things which are messing up the network right now. Okay. The, do you see here established? Yeah, do you see here established? Yes. Yeah, these established are the information that those hackers, uh, those uh, viruses have placed on your network, all right? And do you see here close weight? Yes. Yes, they, uh, they cannot establish. They haven't established yet. As you are now connected to our secure server. Okay. So, uh, the best thing that I can suggest you is to remove these Tinbot Trojans, and we need to remove all these foreign addresses, and we have to encrypt your foreign addresses so that you won't face this in the future. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, sir, uh, how much, how old is your computer, you said? Three years. Three years, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, let's check it out. <clears throat> How far is your, I um, mean, like, the status of your computer now, right? Okay. Okay, here. Uh, you see here. Seriously, uh, these are the services. These are essential services for your computer. It should be running. You see here, stop, stop. Yes. Right, so you see it, right? Yeah. Yes, I can see it. Yeah, now see, uh, it has been infected your device, your computer. It has been stopped. This, everything should be in running. You know, these are your essential uh, systems. They are always running on your background of the computer. Okay. See, uh, when I just scroll down, it's almost like a 50% of the services has, has been stopped. As okay. you can see. Yeah. Um. Well, sir, uh, in order to fix this, there, might, uh, there will be a charges involving. Okay. Yeah. So. Would you like to fix it? Yes. Um, okay, all right, so uh, let me <coughs> can I go ahead and generate you a diagnostic report, right, sir? All right. Okay. Well, sir, uh, what were you doing uh, before, you, before this message appeared on your computer? I was checking my email. Uh-huh. Sir, have you have been doing like uh, internet online banking or any like online shopping on your computer? Yeah, I do. Okay, so that might be the reason. This virus is, this virus has been uh, created from the network, and like I believe that uh, seems like you don't have any like firewall network security on the network, right, sir? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, yeah. Okay, here is the dinner. Okay. Okay, so uh, so just I'm gonna generate a uh, diagnostic report for you. These are the things that we're gonna fix up for you, your computer. All right.
Yeah, well, first of all, they're going to remove. First of all, they're going to remove 15 by 1,000. And they're going to install network security. And they're going to remove the foreign addresses. And they're going to encrypt your local IP addresses. And they're going to install... Sir, uh, have you ever uh, seen the pop ups aid on your, I mean, on your web page? Whenever you browse, I mean, whenever you surf internet, you see an uh, advertisement, right? Aids? Yeah. The pop ups appearing on your screen. Have you ever seen that, sir? Yeah. All right. Uh, those, might be also the, those might be also the reason sometimes. Uh, like, when they direct, when you click that, uh, when they direct you to other some other pages, so those the viruses can be spread through that also. So okay. they're gonna install. Yeah, they're gonna install eight and pop up blockers. <sighs> they're gonna install network firewall. <laughs> Yeah, well, sir, uh, okay, these are the things they're gonna do by the Microsoft certified experts, right, sir? All right. Yeah. And there's a two options for you to fix this. First one is in store. So have you ever seen a particular Microsoft certified ex Microsoft um, Windows store it's nearby? Uh, no. Oh, uh, okay. Well, the first one is in store. Sorry? In store, you have to carry the devices. And this might take you have to keep it you have to keep it your devices on the store for like four to five days and the other option is online they're gonna fix it in remotely like the way we're working right now okay yeah this might take 40 to 60 minutes Yeah, and here for the store, this might, the price might come up to $449.99, that is for the store, and for the online help, all right, first of all, when you pay this $449, this will be just for per incident in store. You have to pay for the next incident, right? <coughs> and for the online? This guy takes forever. You just need to pay. Two nineteen dollars. Ninety-nine cents. This will be for years plan okay, uh, okay, uh, this is the diagnostic report I can make for you okay so, yeah, so what would you prefer now? what would you prefer sir uh, online uh, but your computer really needs to fix away fix right away 
because I, I I can see that your computer is running slow. Okay. And yeah, as I've seen that, uh, like in most of your essential programs and systems are already stopped. So you need to fix this. Okay. Yeah, and I'm afraid that your computer might break down at any point of time. All right. So what would you prefer, Nasser? Yeah, I said online. Online, sir? Did this guy not hear me the first time? <laughs> so, sir, uh, do you want to go for this online house? Yeah. Um, all right, well... Okay, now... Okay. I, I also have a question. Name. Yes, sir? Do you guys have a website? Let's see if I can get this out of them. Yes, sir. We we are newer support company, sir. Newer support company. Would I be able to see your website, please? Of course, sir. Just just give me a minute, alright? Just give, just just a moment. Okay. Thank you. See if we can fish it out. <laughs> Probably ask him, what, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Alright, you there, sir? Yes, I'm here. Alright, I'll pull it out for you, okay? Okay. Sir, can you there see this? Go. Yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, this is it. After you fix this, like we're gonna give you the toll free number. You can, as you can see here, you can contact us. Twenty four by seven. For any technical support during your three years plan. So I, I call you guys. Uh, I call you guys there. On this number? On Sorry, the website sir? then? So uh, I didn't get you. I said, so do I call you guys back if I need to call you guys back on the website number? The number that's on the site? Yeah, of course, sir. Yeah, this is definitely fake. It's a freaking house. That, you can call us <laughs> Their address is a house. <laughs> they give a number, so... What do you say, okay. sir? You wanna go ahead? Yeah. You wanna go ahead and fix it? Yeah. Uh, Alright, sir. Okay. All right, uh, sir, you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello? Yeah, and now I'm going to transfer the call to the technicians, the one who's going to fix your, your computer, all right, sir? Okay. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. This is James Walker here. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing good. Hi, how are you doing? Are you doing good? Yeah. 
That's great. So here, you know, the last gentleman told me that you're facing certain problem with your computer. You know, he has uh, uh, given us a report that, uh, you know, there are certain problem with the IP addresses and it seems to be the hacking issue, okay? Okay. So we will go ahead and fix this computer and the best part is that you need not to pay us upfront. You need not to pay anything right now. If what you have to do is you can just mail us a check once the work will be finished, okay? All right. Going for a one year of warranty, that is, or three years of warranty, that is two ninety nine ninety nine. Okay, that will include your computer, your other devices, whatever the devices that is present in your place. Okay, and everything would be fixed up. Okay. Okay. Before we proceed, you just type in your name, email, and phone number. Could you please do that for me? Okay. Just type in the name, email, and phone number on the space provided. Oh, all right. And type in the email where you want all the receipts and everything. All right. Uh, just what I get to get my phone number. So uh, just give me a I got that. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we'll be going ahead and uh, telling the address. So do we have a pen and a paper handy right now? Yes. Okay, you write down everything. You are paying to Neuron Support LLC. And in the memo, you would have to type in the micro soft services as you're getting it for your Microsoft computer. Okay. And uh, the address, I'll give you um, our mailing address whenever you require any help. You will dial up a toll free number. I will give you a toll free number as well. This is our mailing address. Just have a look here. The amount you are paying is $299.99 USD. That will be the check that uh, you will mail us. The toll free number. Free number for us is a toll free number. I'll just type in that toll free number on your desktop and you can just slide it down from there. Alright. Have you noted down everything? Yeah. Do you want some time? Okay, this is what we have. I'll just paste it over there on your desktop so that uh, whenever you require to have a look onto it, you just can see it on your desktop. Let me go help. Now, what I'll be doing is you just can uh, disconnect the line from your end and uh, once the work will be finished in 30 to 40 minutes, we'll give you a call, okay? Yeah, wait, one, one second. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, you do know this is a scam, right? No, sir, it's not because scammers do not website. Scammers do not tell you your, their address and everything well, is there. Your you address is a house. Customers. See, let me just tell you that uh, we have a head office as well. Uh, you could, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you our head office. This is our head office. It's in Morgantown. Your address is a house. Yeah. Sir, you know, this is uh, not a house. Let me just tell you, we have a head office located in uh, West uh, Virginia. See, I'll give you that address. It is, a, it is just a mailing address. No. It is just a mailing address that we have given this... you to mail the check. No, not that address. The address on your website is a house. 1360 Baker's Ridge Road, Morgantown, West Virginia, 26505. It's a house. So, uh, you and know, this is a virtual machine, and I set all this up, and your pop-up is fake, and everything you said is fake. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, just hold on. Let's see what he does. Oh. No, it's not like that, you know. Uh, let me just tell you that it was just a mailing address. That was just a mailing address. Okay, tell me how this. Tell me how this. Tell me how this message got on my computer then. Okay. I'll just come on that message. Explain it to me. This is the error messages there on the computer screen if you can talk about that. Yeah, how did it get there? Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me give you some help. Let's see. Type in that. Oh no, I got another one. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay, so you know if you're thinking that. So how do you like scamming people? <laughs> he hung up. Let's see what he does. Still connected, but he hung up. Yeah, I'm just going to disconnect. Alright, but uh, here's another prop. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, not a very spectacular ending, but yeah, uh, tech sports cameras. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.